Hey guys, Tom Works one and we are back in the Palo Emilio, and that's because after less than a week, we've already seen a buff to this ship. Uh, Wargaming went ahead and revisited the speed at which you can deploy the rolling smoke. So now, at the top speed that you can get this vehicle, you can still be covered by smoke, which is awesome because it does slightly change how you play this. In fact, I've completely changed commander builds as to where I was previously. And uh, I think overall it does make the ship better. But before we get into the game, I'm gonna give a shout out to two people, uh, Vile Mob and Scheissegeist. Last video I asked you guys to go out and subscribe. Uh, th these two did today and as a result have pushed me over the 12,000 subscriber point. So thank you so much. These two are the other ones who have, I know a lot more of you probably subscribed, but these are the two who have their subscriptions set to public so I can see specific names when they subscribe. So thank you so much to these two. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Now, as far, now back to the Paolo, as far as changes to the ship, I did go ahead and now I am running Giuseppe. One interesting thing is uh, I'm not running a double concealment build. Instead, interesting, I'm running Bay and Gleaves, and that's because my Gleaves percentage to increase the distance of torpedoes is higher than my concealment number with Swirsky. So basically, I'm trading, I'm just trying to eke out a little bit more range difference between the range of my torpedoes and my concealment because that is the big damage dealer. That is what's going to uh, to basically win or lose you the matches in the Palo is uh, how close can you get to someone and launch your torps. And if I can extend the range, that number uh, will be a little bit better than if I was running a double concealment with Swirsky. Uh, as we see there, gearing pops up. We can see enemy destroyer, he's running away. We can also see we have a uh, Vlad going ahead and uh, locking down here. And this is where we're gonna go ahead and decide to make our YOLO run. Uh, Paolo is definitely improved with this change. We're gonna go ahead and see a, uh, a, a basically a YOLO run coming up right here. And we can see just how the, the change that they did affected us and made it so we could safely make this play. Two things to note, one, we do have teammates spotting our targets, right? We see that that Vladivostok is there and we also see that there's a, uh, a Bismarck over there. Those two are going to be our target for this YOLO run. Um, and let me just say, it is still relatively difficult to do this. You need to be in the right circumstances. In this case, we can go ahead and have our, uh, we can have this island kind of protect us. Uh, we can see that Vlad kind of knows what's up as he saw us initially and has decided to throw it in full reverse. But of course, our 45 knot speed is going to allow us to close the distance significantly quicker than uh, he can flee. And we're just going to go ahead and kind of hug hug this island right here and turn. Uh, Paolo, the guns still aren't the greatest thing on her. It is the torps that do the heavy damage and that it is going to be uh, getting into the positions to do that that is going to be necessary. We uh, come here and we actually start to get spotted by Bismarck's uh, Hydro. We can see he's in full reverse. We're gonna put one down right where he is. Um, I think he's gonna end up seeing those torpedoes, realizing he can't outrun them. And as we turn away, we do, uh, we are still well within range on Bismarck. We'll lay out a second set of torps that will hopefully get him. But this turn right here, we would not survive this if we were in a regular destroyer. Uh, just absolutely not. And having the now long smoke screen that we can do that whole run at nearly top speed absolutely is what saved us and allowed us to survive this whole match. Uh, now that we're fully turned around, we go ahead and start firing our guns. Uh, and we can see Bismarck just trying to fire in the smoke, trying to get something because uh, I think he knows he is all but sunk. He goes down and we're up to 72,000 damage just off that one torp run. Uh, for us now, we can't really continue to pursue the Vladivostok. That is one of the things you have to know about the Paolo is you can't go chasing people. People have to push into you or be at a neutral position. And with the Vlad right there, 
uh, he is not going to be in a neutral position. He kn- he's well aware of where we are, and he will. It will be very difficult for us to get a stealth torp off with him. And that's still the goal with the Paolo, right? You still want to be able to deploy those torpedoes in stealth. If you can't, you then have the ability twice a match to go ahead and lay the, lay the smoke screen down and hopefully be able to guide yourself in. Um, at this point, B is probably going to be our best our best guess. There is a hipper over there, which is a little scary, but hopefully with our teammates' help, we can go ahead and uh, sort of secure that area. Um, but we're we're just kind of playing what we can, and we know we can't go out towards A. We might as well try to get into B, uh, neutralize their points gain ability, and uh, see what we can really do. Also, it does look like Hipper is kind of distracted with our other teammates, so we might as well see what sort of chaos we can cause for him and just try to assist our teammates in maybe doing a little bit more damage, especially because at this point, the two ships that are closest to us as far as the battleships are moving away and are not going to uh, be very fruitful targets for us. So we might as well see what we can do with this Hipper, head on into the center and uh, start mess with him. Also, it looks like he's turning out. Unfortunately, he is not broadside, so we can't test out our AP on him, though given his very uh, thick side armor, I doubt we would be able to do much with it. But we are still going to push him to B, especially because now it does look like he is fleeing B, and the enemy team has capped C, so we do want to make sure that the points deficit we are now uh, accruing uh, does not last for too long. We do get spotted as as we come around here. Thankfully, we drop spot just in time to realize there's a sh- new ship on the radar and uh, smoke is back in 20 seconds. So it is time to make another YOLO run on the Iowa. Uh, we, we go ahead and miss. Launch one set of torps. Widespread fire the second set of torps. This is one of my preferred methods to firing torpedoes on battleships, especially when they look like they might be a little oblivious to us, is to be able to go ahead and fire both uh, both a narrow and a wide to try to kind of cover off any slight maneuvering they do. Uh, unfortunately, he does kind of see the threat and begins to maneuver. Smoke is back, so we go ahead and pop down. One of the torps does hit him in the nose. And this is where uh, I want to talk about I do kind of wish we didn't need all of the concealment to make the Paolo so, uh, so, uh, like somewhat competitive because I would love to have been able to install the RGA mod on this ship rather than the, uh, rather than the concealment mod that we kind of have to install in order to stay somewhat competitive. But, uh, also this is a good example of another reason, another time we probably would have been dead if it wasn't for the smoke and especially the longer lasting smoke that Giuseppe gives us. Giuseppe, uh, you can go ahead and pretty much double your smoke time if you pull all of the uh, all of the duration buffs or all of the duration skills. And because of that, we are able to make that wide arc uh, start to flee the Cleveland. If we had run out of smoke there, Cleveland could have easily smoked us. Now, uh, but now because we had that, that increased duration, we are able to sit, stay somewhat safe. We are now, though we were fleeing, we're going to try to go ahead and flip B, be the good team player. Also see if the Georgia wants to come in range. He is fairly low. So if he is fairly low, uh, we probably won't be able to make a torpedo run on him. But uh, going back to the concealment mod and the RGA mod, RGA would be an interesting thing to run on the Paolo, especially because once you're in smoke, uh, if you have the the radio indicator, the the closest ship is this way. It could be an interesting strat to kind of run in, like run blind essentially and rely on that RGA to guide you to the nearest ship. Of course, if the other ship is running RGA, you guys are going to proxy spot each other at the same time. And they most likely will have trained their guns exactly uh, at the smoke, knowing that there is essentially a smoke monster attacking their position at this point. But it is something that would be nice to run. Also, it would be nice if, I don't know, Concealment Mod was available for the battleships. That way, every single battleship you try to YOLO up onto uh, won't have the RGA mod installed by default. Or if they're like me, just people who don't run the RGA mod because they're too poor, 
uh, because they would rather put that two million credits towards the next ship. Because that's the situation I'm in 90% of the time in this game of, well, it's a tier six battleship, but I don't need to do it. Um, but anyways, uh, we went ahead, secured B, and we know where the last destroyer is. We have our speed boost back, back active, so it is time to go ahead chase this guy down and uh, wrap up this match. Uh, as far as my opinions on the Palo, I still like it. Um, it's still going to be the next uh, GXP ship that I purchase. Uh, the smoke buff has definitely helped it. And uh, I would recommend it just that little bit more. Um, when someone asked me about it, I think I said, it doesn't redefine the ship. It's just a nice quality of life update that it might be something that pushes someone over. Like it's the straw that breaks the camel's back into purchasing the ship. But yeah, I really enjoy it. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, go hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See ya.